Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to the final video of the NES Remix 2 project. Uh, for this video, I'm going to showcase the two other modes we have here. We have Championship Mode, and we have Super Luigi Bros. Before I go to these modes, though, there is one last thing I want to mention and talk about. Uh, at the end of the last video, we were kind of discussing the stamp points, and as you can see, my stamp points are definitely not maxed. In NES Remix 1, you could go all the way to uh, 99,999, and that's actually where you get the very last stamp of that game. And as you can see from our stamps right now, we're still missing uh, two stamps. However, after doing some research, I've determined that the last two stamps you actually get from those two modes on the main menu that we still have to take a look at. So because of this, we can still get these without having to grind all the points, which I am very much in favor of that. Uh, but just as a little bit of a review, as far as uh, stamps 96 through 97, or 96 through 98, you can get them through, basically for 96 you beat it, get it by beating stage number 21 in bonus. Uh, 97 you get from beating uh, stage 22 in bonus while also having all the gold stars. And then getting 98 is having every rainbow star in the game. Now, let's touch on stamps 99 and 100. In actuality, what you need to do to get those last two stamps is to get stamp number 99, you need to beat Super Luigi Bros. And to get stamp number 100, you need to essentially get into the top 10 leaderboard of championship mode, which in order to get into the top 10, you need a score of 1 million points. Which I got pretty close to. I honestly, if I would have uh, been able to do like one extra stage of Dr. Mario, I think I could have made it. Uh, so we're going to actually do this first. Uh, this won't actually take a very long time, but I may be uh, doing this a couple of times before I get it right. Uh, but you essentially have three challenges. You have a Super Mario Bros. 1, a Super Mario Bros. 3, and a Dr. Mario challenge. The uh, SMB1 challenge, you have to collect 50 coins, which uh, can be kind of difficult if you don't know your SMB1 very well. I always go in that pipe right there. I don't know if that is the fastest route or not, but either way, that's where we went. So we got through that stage pretty quickly. But now we need to uh, make it through this next stage with... Uh, optimal efficiency and then we just play around in Dr. Mario for a while until we get uh, the rest of the coins we need I'm gonna go ahead and grab the fire flower fire flower should make it a little easier because I can actually use the fire flower on a lot of the enemies that are in this next part I want to say there, there could be coins over there as well on like some of the hidden blocks. Admittedly, I don't know where all the coin locations are of this game. There we go, got all those. I want to say it's a better score than what I got before. I really don't have much of an idea. Next up we go to Super Mario Bros. 3. We kind of did something similar to this, if you remember in Challenge uh, Bonus 21, where we had to go through these and collect all those coins. But this is the actual level here. Okay, don't want to lose the raccoon here, because we may need it. There we go, got through that pretty quickly. And finally, where we'll be earning the majority of our points will be through Dr. Mario. And luckily for me, Dr. Mario should be a pretty fair challenge for me. Considering I've started speedrunning Dr. Mario. Fairly recently. Thank you. 
So I think as long as I make it through, like, level 4, I think, I should be good to go. Basically, what I'm going to be aiming for is I want to beat the uh, high score here. Beating the high score should be a pretty guaranteed good run, I think, at that point. I lost a little bit of time there, unfortunately. And one thing you gotta keep in mind is that uh, just by getting matches without viruses, those aren't really gonna give you points. So you need to kind of keep that in mind. Oh, damn it. I can still fix this, I just need a double red as soon as possible. Okay, it's gonna be very close. Oh boy. Okay, good. I really thought I messed that up. <laughs> I really thought I messed it up. But that is going to be good enough to get into the top 10 in the 5th place position, just above Donkey Kong, just after Pete as Samus. We are good to go, guys. And if we go back to game start... We might have to actually complete a challenge before we uh, do this, so hold on a second, guys. There we go, got it. So, Nintendo World Championships Remix. 
You got it by placing the top 10 in championship mode. So there we go. That's that stamp. Next up, we gotta beat Super Luigi Bros. This is Super Mario Bros. 1. With the added challenge that Luigi is the playable character. And 2, the game is mirrored. So yeah, you essentially have to make your way through this game... Not only with Luigi and Luigi physics, and when I say Luigi physics, I mean Lost Levels physics, not Mario Bros. 2 physics, or Mario Bros. 2 USA physics. Damn it. Well, you know what, that's okay. We'll go the normal way then. Because I was going to say, shoot, I meant to actually go inside that pipe, but it's kind of hard to get that one up and go inside that pipe at the same time, so... Getting the 1-up is mainly what I was concerned with right there, so I'm glad I got that at the very least. Uh, but yeah, putting the game in a mirrored perspective, honestly, I think can be quite the challenge. It's not a, like a super apparent challenge, it's something you kind of notice, like, just very, very, like, briefly, but it can definitely throw you through a loop when you're not expecting it. It's kind of like mirror mode in uh, Mario Kart, because in Mario Kart, if you do a track so many times, and you're just so convinced the first turn is to the left, and the first turn is actually to the right, you may just like accidentally kind of start veering off in that direction, even though it clearly does show it's going the different direction, but you're just so used to how the game controls normally that you just don't think about that. Also, there is a one-up here, right? Pretty sure there is. Maybe I missed it. Whatever. <laughs> of course I missed this. I know there's... Aw, oh, damn it. Because I knew there was a power-up right there. Actually, the one-up's here. So maybe I'll grab this. And hey, that'll give me a second life. Because, yeah, unlike Mario All-Stars, I think you only get, like, three lives. So, that does make it a bit challenging. You have less health than you're used to, if you've played the other version. Plus, you never know how World 8's going to treat you, so... Best to be prepared for anything and everything. Especially when you get to this hell of a level. Come on, give me the mushroom. I want your mushroom. <laughs> Why do I sound like Schwarzenegger? <laughs> I don't know, I think I'm losing it, guys. It's fine. Now, if you know where all the coins are, you could potentially get, like, another uh, one up before you reach World 8, but highly unlikely. I think you, what you ultimately want to aim for is just definitely get a Fire Flower as soon as you can. And try to keep that Fire Flower through everything. Because that Fire Flower will definitely be your saving grace in World 8. It'd be nice if you get a 1-up for hitting the top of the flagpole, which... I don't know the exact conditions. Like, it's still something you can do in, like, Lost Levels. I know that for a fact, but... I don't know. It seems like I always get to the flagpole in the first game, and you always get, like, 5,000. Maybe you have to fulfill another, like, requirement or something. Which, that very well could be the case. Uh, this jump right here is very, very annoying. <laughs> Thankfully, I made it right there. Now we're gonna go through the warp zone in this level. With Luigi, I recommend trying to get this... Crap. Damn it! I don't think I can do this now. Because the problem is, Luigi jumps way too high. Ah, damn it. 
hate doing this, but... I need to get that warp zone, because I don't feel confident in playing all the way to the end. I just don't think I'm that good. So I did lose one of my lives, unfortunately, but I will be able to get one back in World 8-2. Uh, situation get some coins here as well again not highly likely we'll get a whole bunch of coins in the remaining levels but if we do that'll be another attempt we have at beating this and I am not gonna sneeze at that I'm just going to play this a little slow, focus on just fireballing my enemies to death. Isn't there like a Starman here? Oh, there is a coin block though. I think the Starman's a little forward. Yeah, it's here. That's the Starman. Now, unfortunately, the Starman can't give you one-ups, which is kind of a dumb thing, because, like, you're so used to it doing that, but in Mario 1, it didn't do that. It did it for, like, Koopa Shell hits, but... But not for Starman. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to focus on there, so I kept it kind of quiet. Okay, we made it to 8-2. That's good. We still have four lives. Plenty of lives to work with. kill that Koopa. So here's the other one up. Of course, because I want to take the easy route, I'm not going to get it now, but if you want it, it's there, basically. Oh, come on! That's okay, though. Really? <sighs> I just want to try to make it to the end, guys. I know for a lot of, like, Mario 1 platforming, a lot of you can just, like, straight up go forward, but I don't really have that confidence <laughs> that speedrunners have, for example. Okay, so I know we have Hammer Bros coming up. 
Glad I saved it, but it didn't really even matter at the very end of it. Okay. I know for this one. There we go. Come on! Why didn't that shell hit the... Oh, it didn't hit on the rebound there either. Either way, I made it. Don't know how, but I made it. <laughs> Don't have a power-up or anything, but I made it to 8-4. mess with my head tremendously because I'm not used to going right. Or going left, not right. Okay. Water section. Okay, we're at the end. I think we just got a hammer, bro. Have an idea. Woo! I made it. I made it. Gone! Woo! Alright. I did it, guys. <laughs> Probably the slowest playthrough of Mario Bros. you've ever seen. Or Super Mario Bros. Oh! Mario's already there, of course. Of course he is. Of course Mario's already there. You can pick any world you want, but honestly, I don't care. We're going to end this and take a look at the final stamp we earned. Still, what is this thing in the middle here in between these two games? That makes me so paranoid because it looks like there's something else, but there's not. I think once again I have to actually play through something, so... Hold on, as I go through this one more time. And there we go. There's the last stamp. So, ladies and gentlemen, as far as I'm concerned, we have 100% completed NES Remix 2. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys for whatever my next weekend project is going to be. I honestly don't know what it is yet, but uh, it's going to be something. Don't know if it'll be next weekend, though. I might actually take uh, next weekend to kind of make some more progress with Fire Emblem. So, next weekend project won't be next week, but uh, it will be coming soon, I promise. And yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll talk to you guys next time. Later, folks.